welcome back you guys as i should say rex family as you guys can see i'm in my garage i'm trying to turn it into a little like office slash area for myself because i'm gonna start podcasting soon and doing all types of stuff like that but for today's video it's kind of point pinpointed towards guys mainly um as you can see i'm by myself ella's not with me um i wanted to make this video for the guys out there that you know, are with the girls and you guys just got pregnant or whatever the story may be. Just some advice, just from my personal experience, what I've experienced this past year of pregnancy and stuff like that, because my baby girl is going to be here any minute now. So, um, sorry, I, I got allergies, so I got the sniffles a little bit. But I, the first thing I would say, I'm not going to make this video long. Like I said, I'll put in links on, in the link below, um, like the times and stuff. That if, you, if that's what you just want to listen to, you're welcome to free because I already know not a lot of people will like watching the whole video. But, um, you know, make sure to like and subscribe too. It always helps us. Please subscribe. Please share. We're trying to grow our channel. So uh, the first one I would say... Uh, as advice for me personally, as I was learning more through this journey, is to support your girl emotionally 100%. Um, because when pregnant girls, when they get, you know, when they're pregnant, their hormones are through the roof. It goes up, down, up, down, sideways. It's like a hexagon. It's crazy. It's all over the place. So one thing I would say is to support them 100% mentally and emotionally you know make sure it's just the little stuff i had to learn the hard way you know me and Elle live together at my mom's and i got you know i get i got i get comfortable with the person that you know i'm living with and you know i love her so much but i got comfortable sometimes i miss little things sometimes girls just need little things like just a simple compliment or you know just just to ask them about how their day was stuff like that especially during pregnancy because they might snap at you, they might, you know, but they don't mean it. You know what I'm saying? Some, some, I'm not saying anything. Women are different. Everybody's different. I'm just saying like, that's just how I've experienced my pregnancy. You know, sometimes, you know, Elle would snap and she wouldn't mean it, you know? And so like, you just have to support them a hundred percent. Just, just the little stuff. That's all. That's it. Literally just the little stuff. Just, you know, listen to them, give them compliments you know, talk to them, ask them how their day was, just spend a little bit of time with them. You know, life is hectic. You know, life is hectic for me. I got, I have basketball, school, work, this, you know, a lot of stuff. So, you know, just the little stuff matters. You know, that that's really important, I would say. Just taking consideration what I'm saying. Um, the next one, I would say, if you are not going to be together, you know, say you got a girl pregnant and you don't see her in the future, you, you know, and you're like, you're like, fuck, my life is over, et cetera, et cetera. Listen, it's not the end of the world. You're okay. You're going to be fine. If you don't see this girl in your future or you guys have a fallout, make sure you stay in your kid's life. You know, I think that's pretty important. That's everywhere, you know, because a lot of kids experience, you know, deadbeat fathers not in their lives and stuff like that. Or they, or parents, you know, they separate at the kid's young age and stuff like that. And it takes a toll on the kid. You know, my parents divorced when I was like nine or eight. And, you know, at times, you know, I really thought it was my fault. As a kid, you know, I didn't understand that it's like, is it my fault that mom and dad aren't together? You know, stuff like that. So I would just say co-parent, you know, try to make it civil. You know, if you have a fallout with your girl and and this and that, just taking consideration that you have, you're bringing another child into this life. You're bringing a kid that is part of you into this life. So you want to make sure you, you have your best interest in for the kid. You know, even if you're not with your girl, it doesn't matter. It's not the end of the world. You know, you don't have to get married right away. You don't have to rush into marriage right away. You know, a lot early on, early on in our pregnancy, you know, a lot of people like my family, I'm rushing. So we're really traditional. You know, people were like calling me. It's like, Hey, you about to get married, this and that. No, you know what I'm saying? that That's not the case. Like, I ain't getting married right now. And Elle knows that, you know what I'm saying? We just want to see how it's going to be with the kid and all that stuff, you know? that That's that's what you should focus on, you know what I'm saying? But if you're not going to be with your girl, at least co-parent. Make it civil, you know what I'm saying? And if she doesn't want you at all in the kid's life, then, you know, I don't know, man. But just try your best to co-parent and keep it civil out of the kid's best interest. Um... The next one I will really talk about for guys out there, don't worry, man, your life ain't over. 
you know, I got a lot of that. Trust me, I got a shit ton of that when I first got pregnant. I even thought my life was over. I cried. You know, I was depressed, mentally broken down because I'm like, fuck. You know, it's like, especially when it's an unexpected pregnancy, you're just sitting there and you're just like, damn, like, what the fuck am I going to do now? But you know what? You know, I'm big on mindset, big on working your mind. It's going to be okay. Listen, no matter whatever circumstance you're in, I know a lot of people. I know I have a friend. His name is Joe. Dude works two jobs. He just got his own apartment with his girl. He's been grinding for a hell of long. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not going to speak on his life, but he had a pretty rough life. But you know what? He kept working hard. He still enjoys his life, how he wants to live his life. He, you know, he loves his kid, soon to be baby boy. Um, he works hard. Your life is not going to be over. Now, granted, are you going to have much freedom like you used to? Not really, because you have a responsibility now. But I'm not, I'm okay with that. Where in my life I'm at, you know, I want to succeed. I want to build something. I'm focused on basketball. You know, I got school in the fall. That's what I'm really focused on. You know, a lot of people told me your life is over. You know, see you later. See you later, young days. Um, I just turned 20 a couple weeks ago, but... You know what I'm saying? I, I don't think my life is over. I think I, I, what, you know, the only thing I can't really do like that is just stay out all night like I used to as a teenager and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So the, I'm at this point of age where like I'm a young adult. Like I need to t get my, I'm getting my shit together so I could create good habits. So when I'm older and more successful, I have those habits created for myself. You know what I mean? You know, I'm just going to say, don't worry. I say, just don't worry. Get your mind straight. You got to talk to whoever you got to talk to, some counselors, anything. Just make sure you get your mind straight. Your life is not over. You got to remember that. You just have another responsibility on your plate. That's about it. And this is the perfect time. Being a parent, man, you get to, this is your kid. You get to teach its values, whatever you want to do, man. And you get to enjoy that process that God blessed you with. So that's, um, yeah, don't worry. Your life is not over. Um, next one. I will say, um, I already spoke on it, but just listen to your girl. Sometimes all your girl needs is someone to listen to. You know what I mean? Sometimes, you know, and I had to learn that the hard way because I'm the type of person where I want to fix everything. I want to, I want to fix this. Okay. What's wrong? Okay. How can I fix it? No. Sometimes you got to throw that shit out the window and you literally just open your ears. I got big ass ears for a reason. Open your ears and just listen. Simple as it is. Just listen. That's all a girl needs. And she'll feel better. You know what I'm saying? If you try to fix everything, it just, it just, it's like, it's like a damn avalanche. It just comes at you so fast and you're just like, you're stuck. You're like, God damn, like, man, like I said, just listen to your girl. Simple as it is. I learned the hard way, but I started doing that more and, you know, it's been, it's been better. I just listen to my girl. Simple as it is. It's crazy. It's the most simplest things that you can experience or do. That's literally it. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it, you know, as, as far as I would say for those, for those topics about guys advice, you know, main ones is just support your girl emotionally, mentally, a hundred percent, you know, figure out, figure out about your life, what the situation is like, you know, if you need a co-parent, if you, you're not going to be in the kid's life, how can you be in the kid's life? You guys are not going to be together. How can you raise this child together? Um, don't worry. Your life is not over. You still have much life to live. You still have a lot to experience, even with a kid on board. You know what I'm saying? You have a lot of life to live. So don't worry about it. You might have less freedom. You know what I'm saying? More responsibilities. But that makes you a stronger person at the very end of the day. So, um, and literally just listen to your girl. You know, there's not much advice I can really give. You know, I've had to learn a lot of stuff the hard way through this whole past year. I've... It, personally just personal battles within myself um just figuring out mentally how i'm gonna go about things you know i was a lot of mentally broken but making sure my mind was straight you know dealing with some friends that you know i have all my friendships and stuff it was all good but you know some friends you know they might have different opinions and stuff like that and they maybe it was hard on me because i care for a lot of people you know i have a big heart but it sucked that you know, you're going to deal with negativity, you know, depending on your situation. If you're young like me getting pregnant, you're going to deal with a lot of negativity saying your life over. You ain't got no money. How are you going to do this? You know, it just depends on your situation. I'm just blessed that I, you know, my mom's here. I get to live in my mom's house, you know, 
you know, my mom's going to be a part of this journey. You know, we have great emotional and family support from both sides. So that's what I'm blessed with. I'm thankful for God for that. You know, like I said, just don't worry. Just keep pushing. Literally, just keep pushing, man. Work hard. That's literally all I can really say, man, is you get your mind straight and you see a vision and, you know, whatever you want to do career wise, anything, whether it's career wise or, you know, whatever it is that you have in the future for yourself and you see that vision, just stick with it. No matter the circumstances, you know what I'm saying? Hard work will always be everything, you know, networking, stepping out of your comfort zone. That's another one. You know, that's a big one for me. Just step out of your comfort zone. You will excel in life. You know, I had to learn a lot of this the hard way. And granted, I will say getting pregnant, I mean, I questioned a lot from God. And I said, why did it happen? Why? But this happened for a reason. Because now I have, I'm developing these traits that I wish I developed like a year ago. You know, I'm consistently working out now. I'm sticking to my goals. I'm sticking to my plans. You know, I see this big vision that I want to achieve and I'm in the process of doing it. So, sorry, I had something in my throat. But, you know, that's that's what I would really say. You know, I think it's very important that you just get your head straight, literally. Don't worry, your life ain't over, man. You still got so much life to live, so much stuff to experience. You just got to work hard. That's what I learned, you know, work hard, work really, really hard. But in, work hard, but, you know, enjoy your time. I get to, I enjoy my time, whatever I do. No matter anybody's opinion out there, what they say about my life. I still have fun. I still enjoy my moments, whatever I do on my personal time. I have fun, man. I'm fulfilled. I have a vision. That's why I'm just working hard right now. I just need to because later on, man, I'm not trying to work hard. Later on, I'm trying to chill out. I'm trying to, you know, go, you know, travel, vacation. All the damn time with my kid, with L. With my, you know, my girl, you know what I'm saying? I'm not worried about that right now. That's just where my mind is at. You know, everybody's different. I'm not judging anybody. Everybody's path in life is different, you know, and I, I just wish everybody success. Any, everybody's life, man. I don't like to judge people. You know, I just want everyone to be happy. I want everyone to be loved and to appreciate life because, you know, th this is temporary. You know, life is temporary. Whatever happens whether we go to heaven or, you know, so many theories out there, or we just die and we just end up in the ground and we just decompose and we got bones. Whatever happens, life is temporary. Just make sure you live it to your fullest and you enjoy it and you work hard and you have fun. So Alan Rex is out. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Whoever watches the video, make sure you get a thumbs up and subscribe button. Appreciate the help. Love you guys. Thank you. Bye.